I have this website. It's for this YouTube channel. The only thing this site does is display videos that are on my YouTube channel and courses which are essentially playlists. A pretty simple website. So I ask myself, why the hell am I running direct to CMS on the back end, Next.js on the front end, paying for DigitalOcean almost 18 bucks a month, and on top of that, I have to maintain all that infrastructure myself. In this video, I'm going to show you how I transform this basically static site to an actual static site with Astro and Cloudflare, and reduce the cost to only five bucks a month. Let's take a quick look at how this site operates now. On the front end, it features latest videos. When you click on a video, it takes you to the video details page. Clicking on a tag takes you to the page that will display all the videos with that tag. There are also courses. Those are just glorified playlists and a way to categorize videos. And I also have one page where I display all the videos and one page where I display all the courses. Very simple. On the back end, I'm using Directus and it's great. You know, I have a lot of love for Directus on this channel. However, as I mentioned in the intro, I think it's an overkill, at least for me. If this was a site built for a client, I wouldn't change it. Clients usually need a simple way to add content to the site and Directus serves that purpose very well. But since I'm building this for myself, I don't mind editing markdown files to add new content to the site and then deploying it online via Git to Cloudflare. To transfer this site to a more simpler stack, I needed a plan. A few things that needed to be resolved to make this work. First, I needed to define a stack. And these are my requirements. It needs to be completely static, no server-side rendering, no database connections, and ability to reuse code. So I decided to use Astro. It's simple, it has the ability to create fully static sites and it supports React components, so I can reuse components from the old site. Next, I needed to be able to transfer all of the data from the old site to the new site. In Astro, you can edit and create your content using markdown files. So I decided to go that route. More on that a bit later. I needed to decide where I will host this site. I heard a lot of people praising Cloudflare pages and how it's practically free to host static sites there. I decided to check them out. On the old site, all media assets lived on the DigitalOcean's droplet in Directus, which is cool, but since now I wouldn't have a CMS, I would need a place to store the images. For that, I decided to use Cloudflare Images, which have a very generous plan for hosting thousands of images, and what's more important, they also have image transformation features, which I needed so that I can serve optimized images. And this is very similar to what you get from Directors, because it also has image transformation features that you can use through front-end code as URL parameters. This is the only thing I'm currently paying for right now, and it costs $5 a month. When the time came to transfer videos and courses, I was afraid that it's going to be a problem and take up a lot of time, but it was actually pretty simple. Directus is a headless CMS that provides you with the REST API to get the data from the database, and then you can display that data on your front end. But you can also use that API to transfer the data to the format that you need, like I'm doing right here. This code is just using Directus SDK to get all the videos, and then for each video I define content that is going to be used to create a markdown file and save it to the SRC content videos, which is a place where the content lives in Astro. Most of this code is just defining the front matter for each video, like date created, featured image, ID of the YouTube video, and so on. Later on, I can use that front matter to sort videos by date, get videos by tag, and of course, display the video on the video details page. Luckily, the body of each video is already written in Markdown because Directus comes with a Markdown editor, so I didn't have to do anything on that front. When the transfer finished, I ended up with a bunch of files that looked like this. Next, I needed to transfer courses. To do this, I used the same steps like for transferring videos, just the code was a little bit different. 
When I ran that code, I got a bunch of files that looked like this. Courses markdown files don't have a body, but they do have the slugs of all the videos that are in that course in the front matter, which will be very helpful when displaying courses page that needs to show all the videos that are on that page. All the tags are their own entity on the old site. On this site, I didn't need to transfer them because I'm going to infer them from the videos. Since when creating a static site, you need to generate every page that is going to exist. I can just go through all the videos with Astro and create all the tags and their pages. More on that a bit later. Most of the problems I had when transferring the data was the images. And that is because when you upload an image to Cloudflare images, they don't keep their own file name, but are instead renamed to an ID that Cloudflare images assigns to them. This is a big problem for me because all my videos depend on those image file names that I got from directors. Luckily, I found a solution by reading the documentation and Cloudflare forums, so I created this shell script. This code uploads images using Cloudflare API, and more importantly, it sets the ID of the image to its original file name. So now those images have IDs that I can use on the front end. Astro uses collections for content. In my case, I only have two collections, videos and courses. To define collections, I needed to create a config.ts file inside the content folder. And in that file, I defined my collection like this. This is just a simple config file where you define schemas of your collections so that Astro knows what to expect. Just like Next.js, Astro uses page-based routing, meaning it will create routes based on the structure of SRC pages folder. This is where I added all my pages. Of course, Astro supports dynamic routes so that I don't have to create every page separately. I just create a dynamic route and then Astro takes care of the rest. For example, since I wanted all my URLs to be like on the old site, so that I don't lose SEO rating on Google, I needed to create dynamic routes for my videos. Directory structure looks like this. Category slug.astro. Category is going to be course slug and slug.astro is the slug of the video that I want to display. I'm using angle brackets here because category and slug are dynamic parts of the route. And then in slug.astro, I get the video that I want to display like this. The most important part here is actually get static paths. In that exported function, I go through all the videos and defined category param and slug param so that Astro knows which pages to create. So now when I build the app, Astro generates this folder with all courses as folders and then in those folders there is a folder for each video with index.html file in it. And that file is the actual video that you can see on the site. One more interesting thing about dynamic routes is how it handles pagination. For pagination I need to define a special dynamic route called page.astro. It's very similar to normal dynamic route, except here we return paginate function from get static paths. For example, look at the all page.astro route. On this route, I'm displaying all videos. Here I'm getting all the videos, sorting them, and then passing them into paginate function. Also notice page variable that I'm getting from astro.props. That variable contains all the information about pagination like start, end, current page, total number of pages, and so on. So I can pass that data to my pagination component to render pagination for the pages that need it. For styling, I'm using Tailwind since that is what I was using on the old site. I also added ShedCN UI to my stack, but I'm only using three components from it. I'm usually not a fan of component frameworks, but since ShedCN UI gives me the ability to change the code of each component, I decided to use it. Mostly because of the nice styling and because it provides accessibility through Redix UI, which is a nice thing to have for the critical components like buttons and pagination. 
Hosting and deploying was the easiest part of the migration because Cloudflare pages make the process very smooth. I just connected Cloudflare pages to my GitHub repo, chose a framework preset, which was Astro and click save and deploy button. And that was it. Now, every time I want to update my site, I just push the changes to the main branch of my GitHub repo. Cloudflare receives those changes and builds all those files you saw before. And my site is updated. Of course, editing and adding new content is a bit easier and straightforward in Directus, since it's a full-blown CMS. But doing everything through markdown files is not so bad. I just need to set up the front matter, upload an image to Cloudflare images, and get the ID for the video thumbnail. And then I can just write the content like I would in Directus, since there the body of the article is also markdown. Of course, there were hiccups here and there, but those were mostly because I didn't work with Astro on anything serious, I just gave it a quick glance when I first heard about it. But Astro has great documentation and community, so I was able to fix the problems that arose very quickly. I would recommend Astro if you need a simple way to create static sites that have a lot of content. I didn't fully test Astro's SSR capabilities, I only connected it to Directus and that worked really nice, but later I decided to go full static generation, so I didn't spend much time on that. This has been it for this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and all that good stuff, talk to you in the next one.